So in Christ's death and resurrection, God has defeated sin, Satan, and death. In a crowd this size, it's possible that some of you might not be Christians. Maybe you brought your children here. If you're not a Christian, let me just say it to you very explicitly. God wants you to understand the good news of his forgiveness. God can forgive you of your sins and deliver you from damnation and death. Because God created us, he's holy, he created us, we're made in his image to enjoy him, but we've rebelled against God, and the penalty for sin, the wages of sin is death. We are sinners by nature and by choice. We're now enslaved to sin, and we are damned for an eternal hell and lake of fire for our sins. But the good news is the son came. He became flesh and lived the life we should have lived, fulfilling the law. He died on the cross in our place, bearing the wrath and condemnation of God on himself for sinners like you and me. And he rose from the dead so that if you repent from your sins and trust in Jesus Christ, even now, you'll be forgiven. Trust in Jesus and turn from your sins. He's calling you now through my voice to do that.